For competition dance, being close to your partner is part of the routine, but because of social distancing, dance is taking on some new moves. Two Works For You's Vincent Hill shows us how one local studio is adjusting. Josh and Rachel Porter of Ovation Studio in Sepulpa have been teaching dance and gymnastics for 15 years, training aspiring athletes. We've been doing Ninja Warrior classes. We've got about 150 boys and about 75 girls that come and do those obstacle training, things like that, just like it is on the show. And possibly future cheerleaders like their group of students performing at this Thunder game. Forced to close their doors because of COVID-19, Rachel says the dancing must go on because it's a way of life for her students. It's so much more than just taking lessons every week. It's a way to come and express yourself and challenge yourself and push yourself. And I think that they are having a hard time with that void in their life. So the couple took their classes virtual to help students like 13-year-old Evie Sores, who's been dancing since she was three. It's hard because you don't really get the like one-on-one -on -one interaction, but it's still fun at home, I guess. <laughs> she says the best part of taking classes virtually is not having to get dressed in her typical dance clothes. Evie also says performing in front of thousands at a Thunder game was great, but she has much bigger plans. I would like to be a ping-ping on the Sepulpa team and then go to uh, Kilgore College, which has the Rangerettes team for college and maybe go to like Broadway. <laughs> While Evie works on keeping her dance moves crisp, Josh says he's giving his students a much needed outlet and keeping their eye on the true prize. It's important for them to maintain those skills, but it's also important for them to maintain that passion and that love. In Sepulpa, Vincent Hill, Two Works For You.